In 2011, Honda said goodbye to the Honda Element. The Honda Element is not one of Honda's most successful cars. It's not even in their top 10 successful cars. But it continues to be one of Honda's most memorable and fascinating vehicles. Why did Honda stop making the Element? In Fortune magazine, it said, Death Notice. America Honda announced it will stop making the boxy and beloved Honda Element after the 2011 model year. Cause of death includes apathy by the manufacturer, competition both internal and external, and the inability to connect with target audiences. But one thing is for sure, Honda never counted on the popularity of the Element to increase after its production. This is the story of the Honda Element. The Honda Element was first introduced in 2001 at the Detroit Auto Show. It was known as the Model X. It was the concept vehicle for the Element. In 2001, Honda wanted to release the X in the hopes of reaching a young, active, extreme sports enthusiast audience. Well, we went out searching for some waves. It was pretty mellow, actually. Man, chill out. Try to eat. At that time, there was only a few competitors for the Pontiac Aztec and the Nissan Xterra that were aimed at the same audience. But with similar target audiences by Pontiac and Nissan, the Element had an upward battle. It had the utility of a minivan and the ruggedness of a SUV with very polarizing looks. The Element was a very ambitious project. It targeted a new segment that was not used to buying cars. Honda realized that the Honda Civic was mostly being bought by females and they needed to reach a young male audience. Why is it so hard to meet chicks anyway? The way to Honda decided to build know. a new vehicle to reach out to this new demographic. The Model X was conceived around achieving ideal functionality for a cross-country road trip, hauling surfboards, mountain bikes, snowboards or just about anything else as it combines some of the best features of a pickup truck and an SUV. Another target was to keep the costs low so it would be an attractive entry-level vehicle to younger buyers. The Model X was conceived by a core group of young research and development engineers in 1998. The brainchild of John Fry Fry established a career at Honda Research and Development where he is currently the principal designer group leader of Digital Modeling Group. He has been a part of development of many models, including the Honda JVX, Sprocket, Ridgeline, Acura RDX, Acura TL, NSX, and of course, the Honda Element. They wanted to develop a vehicle that could be used for their activities and conducted informal on-site focus groups at colleges, beaches, campsites, and in the mountains. Model X has real production potential, said Tom Elliott, American Honda Executive Vice President. The Model X is all about versatility and function. It combines the best features of a pickup truck with the best features of a sports utility vehicle and adds a college dorm for good measure. It's designed to provide everything you need for the ultimate road trip. Source, Honda Media. By November 6, 2002, the reviews were in for the Honda Element. Reviewers were surprised that something so boxy could be so sporty. No one thought a box on wheels could be this fun. This is a great car if you're a dog. Motor Trend that. said, Nothing about the rectangular Element's appearance says sporty, at least not in the normal sense. But its covered wagon type of utility is plainly obvious. After indulging curiosity by throwing the side doors open, wide open and rearranging the spacious second row seating in the rather large and practical interior, it is possible to come away with the impression that the element may be all ute and no scoot. What a mistaken assumption that would be. But the Honda element is just not a box on wheels. It is a box full of pleasant surprises. Quirky looks notwithstanding. It strikes a nice balance of form and function. Don't judge a book by its cover. The Honda Element is that book. Motor Trend, November 6, 2002. Car and Driver, February 2003. Mr. X Games meets the Rubbermaid. Think about it. 
The Honda Element would have the exterior lines of a rough and tough Hummer, flavored with hints of the two-tone Mini. Wrapped around the sole of a sports compact that's fun to drive, yet could be taken off the beaten path. Thankfully, the highly flexible minds at Honda have now just built such a vehicle. We say thankfully because it would take an automaker with one hell of an engineer and pedigree to build a vehicle more versatile than the Hummer, sell it for less than the CRV, and have the guts to affix an H badge to it. That was the Honda Element. Road and track called the 2003 Honda Element, Honda's version of the Swiss Army Knife. On paper, Honda had a hit on their hands. Even Top Gear loved the Element. This car has a lot going for it. And it's clever too. What this car might be then is something quite momentous. Well, I really think we might have the world's first cool Honda. After dismal sales, the press was against the Honda Element. Cars nobody asked for. The Honda Element. Carbuzz.com The Element was born of an effort to bring back a younger demographic. It lost when the Civic went more mainstream. That effort was ill-conceived and implemented even worse. The Honda Element was the vehicular equivalent of that guidance counselor you had in high school who believed himself to still be able to communicate with teenagers, but would actually misuse slang words in a way that would make you cringe and completely misjudge everyone's taste in music. Honda completely failed to capture its target demographic. The car was rather an accidental hit because it had certain features which made it appealing to people other than young men who aspired to drive a box. Honda had grossly misjudged the market by believing that all young men lived in the world depicted in commercials for energy drinks and essentially relied on marketing people from other companies to tell it how to do its own marketing. February 14, 2013. Carbuzz.com The official Honda press release read, the 2011 Honda Element will be the final model year of production of the innovative and functional crossover utility vehicle. The Element virtually created its own functional class and became an immediate favorite for small businesses, outdoor enthusiasts, and pet owners. After a long life cycle, utility-seeking customers have more recently embraced other vehicles in the Honda lineup, like the versatile and comfortable CRV. Developed from the inside out, the Honda Element entered new territory when it debuted during the 2003 model year by providing a multifunctional cargo area, innovative and versatile seating, a durable and dirt-friendly interior, energetic performance, and outstanding value. Honda's commercials for the Honda Element were very Monty Python sketch-like. Ask a female kangaroo intimate details about her pouch? Yeah, I, I was just making conversation. These Honda commercials were initially only to be released on the internet. These commercials got so popular that Honda decided to use them in other traditional forms of advertising, including Adult Swim and the Cartoon Network. The commercial of Gil the Crab was so popular that Honda brought them back for another commercial. Honda succeeded with making a very viral ad. Gil the Crab also had a MySpace page at the time, with Gil's catchphrase, I pinch, was the most popular among the commercial characters. Gil also had his own website, www.savethecrab.com, where users could sign an online petition. The petition was to sound off on the supposed decision to exclude him from the upcoming Element TV ad. According to Brian Morrissey at Adweek, this was part of a broader marketing trend in which social network sites play a larger role in ad campaigns and often serve as complements to brand sites. In its Element and Friends push last year, for example, RPA focused solely on driving traffic to www.elementandfriends.com. All I'm saying is, you need to cross the road with urgency. Possums don't do anything with urgency. See, I go on a lot of road trips, cross-country stuff, and I see a lot of your kind in unenviable positions on the blacktop. 
Hmm. So, what do you think? About what? Honda bundled all of these commercials into a game that they released online. The website let users drive around in an element in a virtual island and strike up sometimes surreal conversations with six creatures, including a possum and a donkey. It was Ruben Poister and Associates, an animation studio in Los Angeles, that developed the game. Bit of an odd one. How do you figure that? Well, I mean, you have the bill of a duck, the tail of a beaver, and the body of an otter. I am a bit of a hodgepodge, but look at you. Part SUV, part van, part surf wagon. That pretty much sums up the Honda Element. Even with this viral campaign of advertising, the Honda Element didn't sell well. Due to the success of the advertising by Honda using animals as characters led to Kia's hamster commercial. Honda didn't stop there. They made other quirky ads that they showed in various time slots. All aimed at the young, outdoorsy crowd. Also launched in 2003 is the commercial for the Honda Accord called The Cog, one of Honda's most successful campaigns. The Honda Element also made its appearance in several games, including this one, Gran Turismo. It appears in Gran Turismo 4 and 5. Hey, for a non-race car, that's pretty good to have a box racing around the race truck. It also makes an appearance in the 2019 movie, Miss Bala. Is this an element? Oh, I forgot that was still in there. In its initial year, Honda sold about 70,000 Honda elements. Sales dropped dramatically after that. In its last year of production, Honda only sold about 11,500 copies of the Honda Element. It's easy to see why the Honda Element failed when you compare it to the Honda CRV. Back in 2003, the CRV sold 144,000 copies. And it has gained popularity ever since. In 2011, the end of the Element run, the CRV sold 218,000. This is the main reason why Honda canceled the Element. There just weren't enough sales to keep making the element when Honda thought that the same audience could be attracted to the CRV. The Honda element was a sales figure disaster. The sales figures between 2003 and 2011, you can see why Honda decided to remove the Honda element. Sales have been steadily declining from 2003 to 2011. When you compare it to the Honda CRV and the Toyota RAV4, you can see that the CRV is much more successful of a platform than the Honda Element. And the Toyota RAV4 has seen gradual increase in its sales. When Honda executives saw the sales trend, they decided to cut the Honda Element from that lineup. When comparing to its rival, the Pontiac Aztec, you can see that the Honda Element was a much better selling car than the Aztec, but both missed their target audiences. Hello, I'm Anthony, the Vehicle Hunter, and today we're going to be taking a look at my 2005 Honda Element. <laughs> With its production run over, the Element retains its resale value extremely well. It's got one of the most reliable engines ever made and extremely reliable. And yeah, this is where I live. And it's very small, but it's comfortable. It widens to just under 43 inches. You guys, that's our full-time home for the past almost seven months. Booster bag. Spices. Do you have any ideas for me for my car? It is a beautiful car. And you know what I love? Is opening the door and just stepping out. The Honda Element, arguably, is the coolest Honda. 
and it is on its way to becoming a future collectible. Element owners love their cars, and they do hold on to them for a really long time. <laughs> for a car that ended production in 2011, a Honda Element looks still very contemporary and it, it has aged very well. Now that the Honda Element is no longer being made, it's being sold in the used market to the people that Honda meant it to go to. So after all, it did find its target audience. It just took longer to get there than expected. So that's the history of the Honda Element. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, I'm Anthony, the Vehicle Hunter. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube page and please like us on Facebook. Vehicle Hunter.